Yeah, I just kind of cleaned up my mechanics a little bit. Uh, I thought we identified something on the lower half that I can uh, kind of grab onto and uh, threw a bullpen with it. Felt pretty good. So, um, you know, full slate for tomorrow. Claudia, you're in front. Yeah, that was great. Uh, you know, just to be able to, you know, he got he got it going. Uh, you know, that he scored our first run, and all of a sudden, the Mookie gets a hit and, and gets things going. Um, you know, they, they give us that they give us a lead, uh, and, and it always feels good in the postseason anytime you have a lead, no matter how early or, or late it is. Um, and then our obviously then our offense exploded there later with some big hits there with you know in, in the bottom part of the lineup you know AJ and Belly uh, both with huge uh, RBI um, you know situations so that's what it's going to take it takes a team total team effort to win these games uh, especially a, a team as as good as the Giants on the right here in the middle. Uh, I don't. I, I, it's, that's too much to too many too many little things to think about. Too many little things can go wrong to just blame it on pitching in Colorado. Uh, I, I I really don't like going down that road or even thinking like that. Um, you know, there's times where you get a little out of sync and that happens. Uh, it, it's about you know you know grind through it, figuring out what it is, grab onto something, and uh, you know find something that works for you and get back get your mechanics all locked back in and find the rhythm. Uh, once you can find that rhythm, then everything flows. You think you found it, you know, third, fourth inning, something like that. Um, was that the lower half stuff you're talking about? Um, no, not in the fourth inning. Uh, hitting is the hardest thing to do in sports. I always say pitching is the most complicated. <laughs> the, you know, the angle of your foot, this, that, your elbow, your glove, you know, all these different things you, you look at, um, you know, little different things that you feel that uh, affect the direction that you go towards the plate, uh, that affect deception, that affect the timing, that affect you know every little thing that it takes to be able to deliver a ball accurately. So, um, you know, for me, I understand what you know what I try to do mechanically, try to get right, and go out there and execute pitches. And uh, just after two games in this Giants Dodgers series, I know you've pitched in World Series games, you've pitched in huge games, you've you've seen huge games in person. How would you compare this to uh, to other playoff games you've been a part of? Um, this is playoff baseball, uh, where both fan bases are just, uh, you know, absolutely diehard, ready to win. Uh, and they want to see us, you know, obviously win. Um, you know, our Dodger fan base definitely wants us to, uh, to definitely beat the Giants. It's, it's personal to them. So, um, it's personal to us. We want to win. We, we respect our, the heck out of the Giants and what they, how good they are. Uh, but you got to go out there and, and believe that you can beat them. On the left there in the middle? Yeah, Max, I know you didn't face the Giants as much as some of your teammates did, but what makes them so difficult to face? Um, you know, just looking at them, I mean, they just have, you know, different ways to beat you with different types of bats, righties, lefties. Um, you know, their, their bats right now are Bryant, you know, and Crawford and Posey. I mean, that's the heart of their order, and they're, and they're getting a lot of production out of it. And then, you know, the, the bats that surround it as well. So there's they can they, – they present challenges to you. Um, and it's going to, like I said, you have to execute every pitch uh, that you throw uh, because if you make mistakes against this team, they're going to beat. I mean, they love the league in homers for a reason. So, they're, you know, obviously they can take you deep if you make a mistake. Uh, far left, Bob. Max, when you came over here, was this exactly what you envisioned or has this exceeded your uh, expectations? In terms of what? Just fun, the atmosphere, environment. Well, I mean – <laughs> it's kind of kind of what I expected. You know, like, hey, let's be in the postseason, be against a big good, you know, against a good team. Uh, that this is the the moment that you uh, you, you dream of uh, as a baseball player to be in the postseason and have the opportunity to go out there and pitch in it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, that, <laughs> it's funny how it starts at the beginning of the year, but here I am at, at in this stage. Uh, you know, having the opportunity to uh, go out there and win a ball game. Far left in the back. Hi, Max. Uh, you've pitched once in the postseason against the Giants. Obviously, that was the last game of the, the World Series with, with Detroit. Just wondering, uh, there are a couple of holdovers on their side from that uh, from that series. Just wondering if you reflect on that start at all before this next one. No, not at all. That's, that's too long ago. That's you know, ancient um, <laughs> in baseball terms, 2012 versus 2021, so we're nine years ago. So, um, no, but you, 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 but 
you know, the, the guys that are still, um, you know, there on their team, uh, obviously they're good for a reason. They've evolved. They, you know, they're able to adapt to the league and continue to make changes. And uh, I'm sure they're going to be as prepared as heck to face me uh, and understand what I can do with the baseball. So um, it will be a heck of a challenge uh, to go up against them. Stay back there on the left in the back. Yeah, uh, Matt, w just uh, curious, your thoughts about a game three and a best of five. Is it any like, is it more important than a, than other games? I mean, it, it, it could bring you, you know, one game, you know, closer to to a clinch. They're all important. I mean, yesterday was really important for us to win. <laughs> so I, I, I can't say one's – every game is more important than the next. So um, – I can't really say that three is the most important of the series. And, you know, regarding 12, is, is there maybe one thing you remember from that World Series? I mean, you, you guys had a great team, but they kind of came in maybe unexpectedly and, and, and had the sweep or, the, or that game in general. Um, just reflect upon, uh, uh, you know, I know our guys in Detroit there, um, you know, yeah, you know, between our 2012, 2013, 2014 team uh, to not be able to punch through and get a ring, we all um, look back and we, you know really believe that man, we had the teams to be able to do it. Uh, we can't believe that we didn't. Um, for, unfortunately, we had one shot at it when it wasn't able to get it done. Uh, but we had some great, great teams there in Detroit. Far right in the back. Um, Max, with regards to your competition, I'm wondering about Buster Posey in particular and what you've been seeing from him in this past season. I don't think it's just his past season. It's, it's been his whole career. So uh, he's a great hitter. Uh, he knows what he's doing at the plate. Um, you know, I've faced him a handful of times. Um, I think we've traded paint. I think he's got me. I've gotten him. So it should be a good matchup. Scott on the left. Hey, Max, what's, uh, what's your favorite thing about Trey Turner? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, how, where, where should I go with this? <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, it's hard to hard pin, hard pinpoint to one. I mean, he's a great clubhouse guy. Um, you know, gets along with everybody. Has a good sense of humor. Uh, and then obviously, what he can do on the ball field, he, every facet of the game uh, that he, you know he touches, uh, he impacts it. You know, offense, defense, base running, you name it. Um, so, I mean, he's a total package. So, uh, you know, I, he's obviously one of the best ones in the league. You you laughed immediately is there a funny story or two that stick out regarding him with you yeah but i can't say it <laughs> fair enough <laughs> anything else with max here on the right to wait for the mic hi mr scherzer um how emotional emotionally different going to the game three like tied and under two. I don't know. Every every game in the postseason is must win. That's how you always look at it. Uh, there's never a game that you come into the postseason and says I'm I'm okay with losing in the postseason. That that's never been a mentality. Uh, you come in wanting to win every single time. So um, being tied up 2-0, down 2-0 doesn't matter. You always want to win. So it, it win. I mean, you, there's just no other there's no other way to play baseball. And that's you, we, everybody approaches it that way. You know, <laughs> every decision's you know manufactured that way. There's never just like hey, we're okay with losing a game. No, you're never. So it, I mean, nothing's really changed. Go back to John, the far it, left. Yeah, and Mac, just um, you've been successful for so long, and Wayne Wright, St. St. Louis, same thing. And you know, Giants have some guys in their mid 30s, Posey and Crawford. What? Is there a, maybe a key to longevity in this game? Because not many people have figured that out or been able to do it. Um, I think it's on an individual basis. Certain things work for certain guys. Um, and you, you got to, as you continue to age and get past the age of 30 and you get a little bit older and things hurt a little bit more, you got to know how to be able to take care of yourself and, and be able to stay healthy um, and be able to address things in the off season. Uh, so for me, uh, I can only speak for myself of how I've aged throughout my career. Um, different things I've had, to, different injuries I've had to deal with over the years, and uh, be able to address them, and still find a way to still make all all my starts. Uh, you know, I pride myself in being durable and going out there every single time, uh, no matter if I'm a little dinged up, that I can still take the ball and, and find a way to, uh, just to go out there and continue to compete. So, um, 
you know, it, it takes work, a tremendous amount of work in the off season uh, to make sure that your body is in tip top shape to be able to handle anything that is asked for it during the season. Anything else, Max? Okay, Max, thanks a lot.